Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another video and I just want to go ahead and talk about DraftKings stock, which is a stock that I have a very high conviction in and believe will make patient investors a lot of money. So first, let's just go ahead and analyze the situation, right? So DraftKings has been selling off pretty much ever since the deal with Intain was announced. Now, eventually the deal didn't go through and the stock continued to sell off from there, but let's just go ahead and put everything into perspective. So first off, DraftKings is down 5% at the time of this recording. However, if you look, you can see that all the other gambling stocks are down pretty bad as well. I mean, look at Penn Gaming. The stock is down 5% as well. And then Rush Interactive is down 5%. And then you've got Wynn, Caesars, and MGM that are all getting killed as well. It was just a bloodbath today for the gambling stocks. And so it's not just DraftKings. The entire gambling sector is down. And this is because of the inflation news that came out today. So let me go ahead and explain that part. So first off, the entire market was down today because the CPI data got released this morning. And that CPI data showed that inflation was up 6.2% in October from over a year ago. And that represents the highest inflation in 31 years. Now, this actually has a specific impact on gambling stocks. And here's why. So when you have inflation, that affects consumer purchasing power. And what that simply means is the cost of certain foods like a used car, gas, furniture, food, milk, rent goes up from what its price was around this same time last year. And so now you're paying more money for things that you absolutely desperately need. And so when you have to pay more money for your essentials like gas, food and rent, then your purchasing power for entertainment activities like gambling decreases. And so greater purchasing power is a very positive sign for the gambling slash casino companies. However, consumers have less purchasing power today than they did a year ago because of rising inflation. And this could be a reason why the casino stocks are selling off so hard. Now, here is why I'm so bullish on DraftKings, though, and why I bought more today, because I actually did. I actually went ahead and I bought more DraftKings today. I saw it go down to $40 and I'm like, OK, this is way too cheap. I mean, DraftKings hasn't been down to $40 in uh, it, well, it's been down to $40. But if it breaks $40, it would have been a long time since DraftKings has broken that. But anyway, the reason why I'm so bullish on DraftKings is because the online gambling market size is expected to increase by $127 billion by the year 2027. The global online gambling market is also projected to continue to grow over the next several years. This is mostly due to increasing adoption of smartphones and easy access to casino gaming platforms. Factors such as increasing internet penetration and the availability of cost-effective mobile gaming applications for betting are also expected to contribute to market growth over the next several years. So overall, the ease of sports betting using a smartphone on top of the proliferation of sports betting ads across the globe is expected to propel growth over the next several years. Now, Many states have already legalized sports gambling with many more to come, and this has me extremely bullish on the future of DraftKings. Gambling is going to be a huge and profitable industry going forward, and seeing how DraftKings controls a large percentage of that market share, I think DraftKings stands to benefit nicely from the future growth of sports betting, and I think investors who are patient will benefit nicely from this. And this is why I am such a bull in DraftKings. There are so many states that still have not legalized sports gambling, and there are about three or four states that are currently in the process of legalizing sports betting. And and I think DraftKings is going to be front and center in line to take advantage of that growing uh, market. And so that pretty much concludes today's video. Um, I am extremely bullish on DraftKings. I think there is a lot of growth ahead for the gambling stocks. And I like DraftKings even more because I just like their management and I like how their uh, CEO is very aggressive and how he's trying to acquire other companies. Like I said, I said in the last video, 
I thought the DraftKings acquiring Golden Nugget Online Gaming was brilliant. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Unfortunately, the deal with Entain fell through. It didn't go through. Fine. But I don't think this is the end for DraftKings. I think DraftKings is going to continue to do whatever they can to control more of the market share of the gambling industry. And that's something that I really like. And so for that reason, I am a happy investor in DraftKings and I am very bullish for the future of DraftKings. I am a long term investor and I don't expect it to happen overnight. But I think by 2023, 2024, 2025, we could see some very nice returns on our investment in DraftKings. And so there you have it. That'll pretty much conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you like this content, I'm going to go ahead and try my best to upload several videos on a weekly basis. And if you want to be a part of that journey, then please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.